everyone, it's Andrea from UK5 TV, and this is part of our success story series. I'm here, <laughs> I'm here with the one and only Fadi El Sayed from My Brother the Devil. And he plays the character of Mo as well, right? I do, yeah, I do. <laughs> so, how are you, man? I'm good, I'm really good. Like, I'm really excited right now. You said I'm drunk, but I'm not even drunk. <laughs> <laughs> You're just on a calm hype. I'm on a calm hype, yeah. Of course, of course, of course. So, tell us a bit about your role as Mo in My Brother the Devil. Okay, so my character Mo is basically about a, a 14 year old. Yeah. Boy, well, no, he's not necessarily 14, but he's like young and he idolizes his older brother. Yeah. And he wants to follow his older brother's footsteps, but his older brother's a lot more experienced than him in life, and he knows that obviously the gang life yeah. is not yeah. the right road for him. So he's trying to move me away from that life. But I'm so keen to show him I'm a man, thinking that being in a hood is a man when really yeah. it's not. Yeah. Could I ask you, how old are you actually? Do you look proper different? I'm 20. You're 20? Playing a 14 year old? Yeah, well, yeah, yeah. I had to shave every day, like makeup and all of that jazz. Like. <laughs> so, the film itself, like for me, after I watched it, I thought it's not really a gangster film, it's more of a coming of age film. Would you agree? I would agree, yeah, definitely. I, I, I personally think it's a, it's a love story between two brothers, for me. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And it covers a lot of, you know, strong issues as well, like, you know, homosexuality and um, crime as well. Yeah. Uh, do you think those are important things to kind of get out there, you know, especially yeah. to the youth as well? Yeah, I think for me, the, the best thing about this film is that its target audience isn't for a specific genre or like sexuality or gender or yeah. class. Like it's a, it's, it's, it's top, like there's so many topics I discussed in a film that could touch hearts with so many people. I remember I was recently at the uh, Ananoia Film Festival in France and I had some random dude come up to me and he was like crying and telling me how to fit like his son was exactly like that which really opened my eyes and showed that like you know the the, the topics discussed in a film isn't just based in like Hackney it's based all around the world you know so yeah so, so it's a universal film for like everyone yeah, yeah and especially the topics discussed and the emotions like it, everyone can relate to them like everyone if you haven't got an older brother you might have a sister you know it's you know the emotions are very relevant okay okay so um I know you're working on a film now give us a bit of an insight about that yeah. Including Brad Pitt as well for the ladies, Brad Pitt. Oh God, no, I don't. I don't. I, I, I featured in uh, World War Z. I haven't. I, I've seen okay. it, but um, it's not a huge part. I was actually really disappointed because the part was a massive part. But obviously, when they done the final edit, yeah. it wasn't really a huge part. But fuck it. <laughs> <laughs> So, I know you've um, got a lot of critical acclaim for your role um, in My Brother the Devil. And, you know, that, that's successful. You've reached a bit of a success. So, what is your definition of success? My definition of success is achieving, like, just, just feeling that you've achieved something. Like, for me, My Brother the Devil and the journey for me getting a role of My Brother the Devil is complete success. Yeah. Like, if we had more time, I'd tell you exactly the journey that I got to get the role of My Brother the Devil, but it was just basically written for me, yeah. to be honest with you. Like, I had so much problems in Egypt. I remember I'd done the audition and went to Egypt, you know, and then I was supposed to go to Egypt for two months, and then they called me two weeks later saying that they want me back to do another recall. And in Egypt, it was during a revolution as well, so can yeah. you imagine how crazy it was out in Egypt? And then obviously we still managed to get my passport and come back. I lost my passport in Egypt. <laughs> so it was really hectic, but it all worked out in the end and I got the role. So it just shows, you know, that for me, that's, that's success. And what wise words would you give to, you know, aspiring actors in your position? I would just tell them to be patient and just, just work hard, but work smart, really. That's something that was told to me and I'm always following that, you know. And what was something else? No, just work hard and work smart. Yeah. Do that. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, you know, I know it's called My Brother the Devil, but I was left thinking at the end, which brother is the devil? That's the point. That's the point. It's basically left in a way that, you know, you ask yourself who, who you think is the devil, because so many people, like, homophobic people would probably think that James is the devil. Mm. Other people would probably think I'm the devil for, you know, for being like this because of my brother being gay. Yeah. A lot of people would think my friends are the devil because it's in a way that's my brother the devil and in the hood you know my brother could be anyone mm. so it could be the guy with the tattoo on his neck true, true. it could be anyone so the director's left it in a way that you know it, it, for the audience to decide who they think is the devil i love it i love it and um, so what are your plans for 2014 i'm planning to kill it you don't even understand like <laughs> i'm planning to take over this world 
going to take but over. Surely, somehow, I'm like, no, no, I'm just, I'm, I'm really happy right now, and you know, I'm getting a lot of good roles, and the roles that I'm going up for are really life changing. So I just need to bag one of these roles, and we'll be on Planet Hollywood, hopefully. <laughs> <laughs> All right, thank you, Fadi, um, for chatting with me. It's been me, Andrea Bennett, for UK Vibe TV, and Fadi. Peace out. Peace out. Peace out. <laughs>